In 2012, when I opened my barber's lounge, I envisioned a barber shop that was reminiscent of the shop that my dad took me to when I was a kid. As I sat and waited for my haircut, my dad made me clean the shop. And we'd, I'd sweep floors, get a couple dollars here, and then run over to the candy store. I realized the barber shop didn't have the same kind of environment that I grew up in, and I didn't know why. And so rather than try to figure out why, I started my own shop and said, let me create the environment that I wanted to. Not only did I want to create an environment that was comfortable for men and women, comfortable for kids, I wanted an environment where it would foster discussion. For the barbers, I thought it was an opportunity to give back the business acumen that I use at my day business, Novad Management Consulting. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to run a barber shop like you run your own business. It comes down to helping your customer, providing services to your customer, and then getting repeat business. No different than any other business out there. In 2013, uh, we were voted, which was our first county award, we were voted by the Gazette newspaper as the top barbershop in uh, Prince George's County. It was an honor bestowed upon us, not expected, but certainly humbled and appreciated. All the barbers really took off from this and really had a sense of purpose on what the shop was about. In 2014, we were awarded the Neighborhood Award sponsored by Ford Motor Company, hosted by Steve Harvey. This was a prestigious award because it's a country-wide uh, uh, award. We were voted the number one barbershop in the United States by the Neighborhood Awards. Um, and it really took off from the sense of pride that our barbers had, a sense of community pride that the, those who live in the community in Prince George's County um, had for us. And it, and it really was something that they worked hard to gain. And if you go into the shops now, there won't be a barber in there that doesn't talk about the award that we won last year at the Steve Harvey Neighborhood Award. And one day driving to work, and I heard the Steve Harvey show about the Pitbull Awards. And I happened to come up, say it, and I come here and That's my shot. It is, truly is. I have a shot in Oberon, wouldn't bring my boys up here. There's no, you know, extra in there. I mean, it's real nice and mild. Like I said, I haven't gone to several barbers in the DMV, and they was like, well, this should be good because they want to see the Harvey Lily Awards. I was just walking around the corner and uh, I saw I saw it in the saw it on the side, so I walked in and tried it out. And yeah, I haven't left. So. Jury, I can cut my hair. So my son's coming here as well. Yes, yes. No matter where I live at, I'm coming. <laughs> you like the best bomb in the PG County. And it's like the best bomb shop. Cool environment. Everybody real chill in the bomb shop. I was surprised when I came in um, the atmosphere um, because I've been in other barber shops and it wasn't good. There's no profanity, everybody is low key. Call it, you separate the hair at the root. You take a comb, you comb it up, you lift it up so it straightens out. You palm twist it and palm twist it and it straightens the hair and it gives it more limb. So, what's the magic? We have good customer service. Take care of clients. I love my customers. I love the clients. I love the atmosphere. I love my customers. <laughs> they can't cut no hair without them. It is a combination of things talented barbers, great cuts, reasonable prices, and a clean, upscale environment where good conversation is welcome and a community spirit where everyone is comfortable. We have had like. Different, um, different events for uh, customer appreciation days. Uh, I know we do a lot in the community. Um, we handed out you know, different things for the kids. We had clowns come in and doing balloons and things like that. So I feel like they really responded to it and they really appreciated how we gave back to them from giving to us. Well, um, I'm constantly looking for opportunity to be a blessing to elders, so I go to many nursing homes, communities, sick and shut in, wherever I'm needed, wherever I can use my talent to be a blessing to someone else. That is what I do, and the ownership and leadership of this barber's lounge is excellent from the top to the bottom. Because I've never had an owner that cares so much about his business, meaning that anything that goes wrong, he's right on it, fixing it. He uh, does work in the community for, to benefit the shop. You know, we have a lot of rules centered around 
us being a family-oriented barbershop. We want the kids, uh, the seniors, and everyone to be, feel comfortable here. We want this to be an enjoyable experience. We can, not just a barbershop. It's a family-friendly environment. Um, working amongst uh, master barbers, um, mature um, barbers here uh, allows me to perfect my craft. And uh, I just get a chance to learn from them and, uh, and the clientele. And you know, with barbering, you know, we're, we're mentors, uh, we're friends, we help people to feel better about themselves. And if my 15 to 30 minutes of being with the client can help them go about their day, make them feel better, and make a, a positive impact on their life, then that was something that I always enjoyed. So I had the pleasure of doing Please stop by our conveniently located shops in Greenbelt, 8831 Greenbelt Road, and in Forestville, 3436 Donnell Drive. If it's your first visit, take a look at our barber's profiles here on the website and call or email us for an appointment. We hope to see you at My Barber's Lounge. I like my haircut and my barber's